a tricky one, 58 yards, so you're almost too close. He's done pretty well there. Yeah, he's a man who also, like Burmese, he hits the ball an awfully long way. There are several holes out here where you don't want to get too close to the green. Well, I'll tell you, it's, it's fooled me a little bit, this one up the slope. Not to be, yeah, and I was, I was going to say, that second off the back tee with it on the other green, I think it's a better hole. Well, it was the first fair we found for Johannes Veerman. It was a superb tee shot, leaving him a seven iron also in his hand. Just a smooth one. As you say, the pin's all the way back there, 29 on. There it is, front left, long way from the hole. Well, well, now you're saying something. That I've just hoiked, to me, hoiked was knocking it left. So is hoiked, it's a Scottish is word. It? If you hoik it, you've hoiked it to the left. This is not an easy part up the hill for Veerman. He has not hoist that. How do you spell that, Ion? Huicht. Yes. Good question. I'm going to start it with a W and an H. Hwe. Huicht. Some E's in there also. <laughs> the attempt should do. Pant through the shadow. Really effective. Have a head at the fifth. The par three, Veerman second. A decent lie there, should be no problem. That is no problem. Nicely played. He's got a great lie in the fairway. Not a lot of room left of this flag. <laughs> A good safe shot from uh, Veerman, having nothing to do with the water whatsoever. An absolute delight. Carried it just onto the green, perfect amount of spin. Here we go, driver for Veerman at the eighth. Almost 500 yards this par four. Some classic action, Shubanka, isn't it? Beautiful action. Absolutely, Johannes has a wonderful swing. In fact, when I won in Joburg, I was rooming with him, and we'd keep discussing swings back in the room. I still remember that. And this is going to be difficult to control this one. It's just a wedge he's, he's left himself, 146 yards to the pin, which is tucked over on the right-hand side today. There is, a, there is a bunker over there, beware of. Over to eight, Veerman to get to eight under and within a couple. Oh well, that's 69 yards on a beautiful lie, the fairway. On a bit of an upslope and you can't quite see the bottom of the flag here. It's 14 on. Do nicely, a little downhiller from right to left there for Veerman to make his birdie. You know, you can't just get the driver out because a lot of holes they run out of fairway, don't they? Yeah, for these guys, certainly. That was a quick one for Veerman. My goodness, that was fast. Adam 35, seven under, still right in the thick of things.
How bold is he going to be with this water in play? Fairly. Do. Do nicely. Got to get hold of that second shot properly coming out of that rough, otherwise it's going to go for a swim. And Johannes Veerman has this for an eagle three at the tenth. And Veerman to tidy up for his birdie. Yep, no problems whatsoever for the American. So a third birdie of the day lifts him to eight under par. And uh, how many good rounds start with a drop shot at the first, which is exactly what he did. It was a pull off the tee at 11 for Veerman. Yeah, that was a long way left off the tee there for Johannes Veerman. Here he is. This is to save his par for Veerman at the 11th. Well done, that. Massive pull off the tee. Oh, that is just a burner. Yeah, you can smile, and that's well done for smiling, but you know internally, seething. Oh, dear. Oh, how about this oh, one, this Tony? Come on, you are the oh, bunker king. This is this isn't that pretty, is it? No. Oh. Now you can see him trying to find a stance for a star. That's going to be a, the first obstacle. And then making a clean strike is the next thing. Plenty of green to work with, which is the one positive thing to say about the shot. Yeah, very hard to, to gauge. He's done a decent job, though. Veerman for par at 13. This would be some up and down, Iona. Yeah, well, he did it on the previous par 3, 11, from a very left position as well. What a par this would be. Yeah, all the par 3s, all of them, all five of them, playing over par today. And it's left again, took an iron off the tee. And we're seeing him consistently end up in this portion of the golf course, the left-hand side of it. And this is a hideous lie, 110 yards to the flag. And this front right portion of the green kicks anything towards the water. Uh-oh. Settle, settle. Oh, man. It's clung on by its fingernails. No, it hasn't. Oh. Run. Well, he went to get a new ball out of his bag and I told him, I think it's hanging on, but you better be quick. And this will make you think, they certainly will. Delicate touch required. 10 yards of green to work with. Well, it was a lucky break that uh, may well still cost him a shot. Well, when you get a break like Johannes Veerman did, you really do want to take advantage of it. He'll be kicking himself if he doesn't hold this one. Down the slope, it's a quick putt. A kick it will be. That is three drop shots in the last four holes for Veerman.
Veerman with a chance at 16. It does look like these greens have slowed up considerably over the day. Oh, shortest putt of the day, Miss um, Johannes Veerman. And that is four shots gone in five holes. He's back to four under par. So it's a five iron in his hand. Not much breeze to speak of, just one final good swing required from the man from America. Pretty about that firm bounce. Makes the shot a lot more difficult, but it was still well played. Well, Veerman to go first. He's going to land this on a downslope. Oh, I didn't catch it. A bit chunky. Yeah, this three ball not having a good day. They're all two over par today. Veerman was long left. He's hit some kind of strange chip to, to finish where he is. Pin high left, but in his best chip, and uh, it'll be a par. Two over today. Two birdies, five bogeys. Hasn't been much fun. No, four over for his last seven holes. Eight under at one point. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.